We're the only Australian active team right now and the only Australian team competing um, this year. So the Hyperloop was conceived by Elon Musk in 2012. Um, it's basically a vacuum train, so you'd be hopping in pods. These would be shuttling you down between major cities at the speed of sound. So when he conceived the Hyperloop and proposed it to his team at SpaceX, they made it open source, which meant that anyone could access the idea and take it in whichever avenue they wanted to. One of the instances of that was uh, to create the Hyperloop pod competition. And that's where the students come in. What sets us apart from a lot of other teams is that this is our first year. UNSW Hyperloop was established in August last year, August, September last year. And with that, we have been working super hard over this time to make sure that everything's manufactured. A mechanical example is that we've used um, a lot of extrusions instead of billet. The machining time required for them is a lot smaller and we can do most stuff in-house for the mechanical systems. Electrically, we're taking a lot of stuff off the shelf and also developing stuff which has come from SunSwift, just taking it a step further. Finalising all of our systems right now, we are finishing up the shell, inserting all of our structural components, finalising our doors and our designs to make sure that our pod is ready to fly out. I'm definitely excited to meet a bunch of engineers from all over the world and be able to connect and see how their journeys at university have led them to this point where all of us are now at SpaceX headquarters talking to each other and bracing these pods. There is the Technical University of Munich who are the undefeated champions right now who we hope to one day top. Um, so they've done quite amazing work. There's also Delft University there as well as MIT. So there are quite big names and we'll be right alongside them trying to meet them, yeah.